On the afternoon of March 27th, <laughs> workers were still putting the finishing touches on the new Fields food store in Page Day. Just inside the entrance, people were already lining up to start shopping after the ribbon cutting. The press was there, which is not typical for a grocery store opening, but this was a big deal and not an easy deal to swing. My name's Chris Goodson. I'm the owner of Fields Foods. And I really, on behalf of everyone at Fields and the folks behind me, thank you for being here tonight on this rainy day. Looks like it's held off. Fields Foods is a local company with several stores in urban neighborhoods like Lafayette Square and Dogtown. But they've moved into a building in Pagedale that one grocery store already moved out of. The community development organization Beyond Housing was able to bring Save-A-Lot to Pagedale in 2010, but it pulled out a couple of years ago. And Beyond Housing's Chris Krameyer then set out to find a replacement, to find a partner and make a deal. Look, this work is hard. It's, it is, none, none of this stuff is easy. Um, Kramer approached Fields Foods, but Chris Goodson says he was in the process of opening two new stores at the time and couldn't commit. But then we re-engaged again and Chris approached me and after several conversations, I said, you know what, the, our mission should be aligned. What is that mission that we like to do? We like to take food deserts and make them former food deserts. We've done that in this is exactly, you know, Pagedale may not be in the city of St. Louis, but it's just like a mini St. Louis with the same type of challenges, the same type of opportunities. And so we talked and brought those two missions together. But the deal had to be sweetened. Beyond Housing offered free rent for now, it owns the building, and additional backing had to be lined up. Thanks, thank you to St. Louis County for some funding to help make this happen. We had two other great foundations who lend us some financial support to make this happen. So the economic model is our success, the community success is based upon the grocery store being successful. Again, don't punish the, this, the, this private sector business who wants to be here, who's choosing to be here, by saying, well, he should, shouldn't he pay rent, and, and, and you know, why, why is he getting all this support? Well, if we don't give him this kind of support, this service that's truly needed and wanted by this community is not going to happen. This is the kind of place that we need to know. Well, we have fresh fruits and vegetables. We have a display of, of groceries and things like this. Also Every speaking at the grand opening, St. Louis County Councilwoman Rita Hurd Days, one of the supporters of the project. Very appreciative to feel food for After the speeches were done, it was time to open for business. Many of the first-time shoppers were older folks who lived just across the way at a senior citizen residence, and they walked here. So where did you shop after Save-A-Lot closed? My daughter did it for me. I think the store is real nice. It's organized real nice. The price is about competitive with This does not have the look of a cut-rate store, and that could attract mid-county shoppers who might have passed on Save-A-Lot but it also has kind of an upscale feel that could turn others away. <laughs> I hear that comment all the time. And let me tell you, I actually, I'm smiling right now because that gives me a good feeling. I believe, and you're, you're gonna get some opinions from me because that's just me, right? Life's too short, I tell it like it is. I believe you should be, be able to be a bus driver or you can be a hotshot lawyer, but you gotta have the same environment to shop in. The real test will people shop here. This needs to be a business that works, as well as a resource that strengthens a community. But the symbolism of the store closing, of the gut punch, and this community getting up off the canvas yet one more time and saying, nope, we're still here. For Living St. Louis, I'm Jim Kircher.